Hey, good morning. <laughs> Guess what we've just seen. Lambs. Second of February, lambs. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so uh, fortunately, we obviously spotted them as we were going past. Uh, we're on our way down to a place called, I'm going to think it's called Semaes Bay, C-E-M-A-E-S Bay. It's right at the very top of Anglesey. And we're going to go along and uh, we thought you might like to come with us. <laughs> and I'm going to see what's up there. So. We'll see you when we get there, and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Well, this is Simaze. Let me just uh, spin you around so you can have a, a bit of a look. Unfortunately, it's a little bit overcast today. But there's a nice little beach here and stuff. It says the car park's four quid, but can't find a ticket machine anywhere. So maybe they remove it at this time of year. Not certain. Uh, but yeah, looks all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to get, it's a bit rocky this bit, we're going to give a chance to run over there on the beach. And then we'll have a little walk around before we uh, might go up over onto the pier. There's another place just down the road, so we'll do a bit of exploring. This is right at the top of Anglesey, and uh, this was pretty much one of the last remaining bits of Anglesey that we hadn't actually been to. So we're going to come and have a look, see what it's like. <laughs> The pictures made it look a lot bigger than uh, than it actually is. That port in the sun, that port part over there in the sunshine looked very nice. I don't know how many smuggled goods went into there over the years, hundreds of years ago, and how much stuff has washed up on here probably. That looks like a nice little cave over there for stashing your stashing your smuggled rum. So it'd be smuggled Jamesons. Ooh, look. The ball, he's got it. Are you ready? Are you ready? In the water. No. <laughs> Never seen one of these before. Well, we have seen them, but well, not in the flesh. Not in the flesh. It's a tidal bell. It rings when the tide reaches a certain height. So it's like a warning, I suppose. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. There's a thing on it that says, please do not ring when the tide is out. That's right, yeah. I was pretty yeah, stop the kids ringing it. Yeah. Well, how clever is that? I think that was what the way is. If it reaches up here, then it, the tide is very high tide or something. Yeah. Although, it indicates... Oh, yeah, no, it's quite dry up there. I don't know, but they're, they're fascinating. They are. I have to Google and find out a bit more about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I love the colour of this rock. It's beautiful, isn't it? Coast a little way now, so I think we can go out the other side of there 
we can't get over to there, so yeah, we're going to have a look and see. I think we might have a walk around here first. So. Well, apart from the wind being a little bit of a, a factor, that's quite pleasant, that place. Very. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. We're going to see if we can get round to that other side of there because the tide's coming in and it's kind of cut us off. So let's see what we can do. Definitely nowhere to pay though. So there's no app, no, no nothing. So I can't even see where the machine's been taken down from. Definitely loads of notes, loads of signs saying no overnight parking, no emptying of chemical toilets in the toilet and... All that, so they're quite anti-van, I'm afraid. Aren't they? Yeah. Uh, let's see what we can find anyway. That's better, out of the wind a little bit. Well, I've been left to my own devices. It's been at the park quite a way down there. I would say that this place has had issues with people in the parking, because there is yellow lines absolutely everywhere. Um, and judging by the way the, the writing was on the wall for the toilets and all that is quite abruptly written, you know. So I'm guessing they don't, they get problems with tourists maybe. But you've got the usual. Yeah, Lorne was right, there were oyster catchers. Full Mars and razor bills and cormorants. they got fishing trips from here as well. As a lot of people would agree with that sentiment. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah, it's only a small little port, but the pictures on Google certainly made it look a lot bigger. <laughs> and it's nice. It's kind of charming. And the Graham shot. There you go, buddy. That was just for you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> we know how much Graham misses his boats and Windy. Is that any good, Graham? Alaska 500? So what I'd like to do is to go and see what's around that side of the island uh, there. I say we're right up at the top of Anglesey, so uh, we'll be into our last uh, last few days soon. Um, oh, we got no, sorry, last yeah, six days. So we'll be heading back there. We got to make a phone call from up here because we've got no signal back there for phones. Uh, we're probably going into Cheshire. Lawn of Fences going into Cheshire. So we're gonna probably give them a ring. I might do that in a minute actually. See if we can get a place sorted. So definitely a nice coast it's got that feel of being at the end edge of the uh, top of the island sort of thing all right let's get moving we've just stopped here by the, um, a field full of lambs and uh, they're a bit far away but Lorna's out there trying to shoot them not literally shoot them obviously um, we're in a place called Kemlin. We've come round, they literally hugged the coast of Anglesey. And a, there's supposedly a nature reserve somewhere around here. So we're going to see if we can find I think that. This is it. You think this is the nature reserve? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Just like an area sort of thing. Right, got you. There's a turning coming up on the right, and we'll see what's down there. Hello. Hello, just had a from you. Oh, hello. Yeah, we were phoning up about, about this, uh, the CL site. 12. Okay, that's brilliant. It's coming at 6 o'clock in the morning. All right. Oh, fantastic. Bye now. Bye. Bye. 
Well, well, that was strange. I just rang up for our next C CL one. It was a dentist. You're a dentist. <laughs> and then she rang me back because I put the phone down panicking. <laughs> Thought we'd got the wrong number. She rang me back. So we're all booked in in Cheshire. Uh, a place called Holmston Hall. Uh, sounds nice, actually. Between two lakes, hard standing. And she's going to, uh, yeah... Book us in when we get there. So, all oh good. I might even get my teeth sorted out because I've I've lost one last week and I got another loose one there today. So my teeth are falling out. I should have lost my teeth when I was 25, according to the uh, dentist. But I have managed to keep them to 58, <laughs> nearly 59. So I ain't done too bad. Cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're in Kemlin. There's not much to see here, guys. Got to be truthful. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean, it would be lovely in the summer, but there's just a few goals and uh, and a stretch of water. So we're going to carry on round. Hadn't realised quite how small Anglesey is. You looks know, big, like, it looks it, big on, on the, yeah. You look on the map and you think like, oh, I'm going to go around that whole top area. Well, we're pretty much back to where we left off the other day. So we've kind of done the top area. And then uh, the only bit we ain't won't have done then will be down by the Menai Bridge itself, where we went to that uh, yeah, model yeah. village, which was really well, good. We still got time to do that. Yeah, right? we still got time still to do yeah, that. Ten days. And uh, down by the yeah on the Menai Strait there. So cool. Anyway, we'll carry on. See where we get to. This is Church Bay, and in keeping with the rest of the theme, car parks a pound for the first hour. And that's all we're going to have. We're just having a quick look. We were trying to get to Carmel Point, but it seemed to take us into some private uh, land of, of some description. Uh, it's like a campsite and a cafe thing. So yeah, I don't know if we got that wrong, but Google Google Maps certainly did. But a little cafe here, see you at Easter. That's a lovely gaff, isn't it? Oh, look at this. This is lovely. So that's where we are there. That's there. That's our campsite, it is sort of there-ish. That's where we first went up to, up at Sea Maze, then into Kem Lin. What we were trying to head to was here. But we seem to end up in this weird thing. So we've come down to here now. And then we've actually already done all of this bit. This is where we were the other day. So we'll probably head back across. And then all that leaves is just this little bit down here. I know this is a dirty map, but don't be to see it. But certainly a pretty place. Wow, yeah. Let's go down and see what we can... Uh... Oh. Luna's already raced off. <laughs> I 
sun's coming out now as well. Look at that for a backdrop. <laughs> Smile for the thumbnail. Wow. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Trying to work out if this is the tide coming in or not. If it is, it might catch us out. <laughs> Wow, what a lovely place though. It is absolutely glorious here though. When you can have all that in your background. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you can hit Lorna in the head, even. Oh, that was so worth going down to. Down here by the sea. Church Bay and from us we're going to say and call this one a day aren't we? Yes. So we're going to head back to the car. It's getting a bit cold now and I'll go and get something to eat. So we'll see you in the next one. Have Bye. a great weekend. Bye for now. Yeah, sorry. We just got proper nearly caught out. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yeah, no, that is definitely coming in. <laughs> I've never seen Lord of Moves so fast. Just now.